Hey, Dr. Todd Brennan with Healthy Cupid Podiatry. Today we actually have a cryo surgery. So this patient has a chronic neuroma of 10 years. Uh, he's tried cortisone injections, sclerosing, or alcohol injections uh, with very little success. So now we're kind of at a fork in the road where do we go the surgical route or the cryo surgery route. Cryo surgery is very specific. It's minimally invasive, so with a little stab incision, a little ultrasound guidance, a probe in there, identify the nerve, and do two two-minute freezing cycles, okay, um, to help kind of uh, regenerate that nerve, all right? So let's enjoy the procedure, all right? Okay, do you feel anything? No. No, okay, I'm gonna come around this side if you want me. It's just a little stab. Move this a little closer here. So this is the probe. All right, we're gonna go in that little stab incision. All right, and it's just gonna be a little bit of resistance at first. Are you doing okay? Good. You're gonna kind of give. All right, and now we're into that tissue and we pull up, all right? And you're gonna see how those two toes go down. That lets me know that I'm underneath that transverse and uh, intermetatarsal ligament, which is kind of where that nerve Green. is. So we're at two minute freezing cycle. So basically what we're gonna do is we just hold the probe here. All right, we visualize it. I like to spend some time with the ultrasound to make sure obviously we're in the right spot, so it works, okay? Um, and then what we'll do as it, as it forms, um, I'm gonna put it on there again so you can kind of see that black ice ball that's forming, okay? The nerve zone is basically O3, so we take oxygen from a tank, convert it to O3, so it's like hyperbaric oxygen, if you will, mm -hmm. that we inject in the foot. Just like the PRP, it's got regenerative properties. So in essence, you're throwing everything at this, including the kitchen sink, mm -hmm. to make this thing get better. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have one more minute left of this. And then you're on the road to recovery, right? Back well, to biking. I've, I've had the stem cell on both knees and both shoulders, so. Works well. <laughs> yeah, it does. Works well. I've noticed that by itself, I haven't had as good results with nerves, yeah. okay? But in conjunction with this, it's it's been, it's worked really well. Yeah. Um, so, well, the great thing about this is, um, you know, not having to remove that nerve and that stump the aroma thing, and Correct. that scared the hell out of me. Absolutely. So, just, just start all over that's again. Why, right? That's why I never did anything for sure. 10 years, you know, I just well, lived with it. you know, the nice thing, like we said with this, it's got an 80% success rate, but God forbid it didn't work, okay? Yeah. There's still other options available, yeah. right? Whereas the surgery, you cut it out, if it doesn't work, kind of stuck, you know? Yeah. All right, almost done. That's it. Once it's done, I kind of wiggle a little bit because it's frozen inside your foot. Okay, and then it kind of will just pop it. All done? That's it. Wow. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean this off first, all right, is um, I'm just going to just put a tight wrap around it for right now. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go draw up the PRP, and um, then we'll come back in, and they're going to be on the top those two and get rid of those injections, all right? Any issues or problems right now? No. Good. Thanks. Okay. Cool. All right. So now here we have the PRP we're going to draw up. All right. They drop about six cc's. You can see the red cells and the platelets. So usually I go kind of right above the um, the platelets down there. So we want to get that tissue. If you get a little bit of a uh, excuse me, red cells, if you get a little bit of them, that's all right, but you kind of want to get that, that foggy layer in between there, okay? Two to go. So I get usually about one and a half cc's of each, from each vial. Um, just so I don't dilute out the product to try not to take too much of it. Um, in one second, we'll see. It. We'll show you the ozone. We're gonna get the ozone drawn up as well. Um, and that'll be the last uh, cog to the um, cryozone, cryosurgery, cryosurgery, um, PRP and ozone. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, here we are, this is our oxygen tank. This is our system. We turn it on, it's gonna start cycling the oxygen from O2 to O3. So basically what we do, is it does have a pretty bad odor to it, believe it or not. So we hook it on here, all right? 
you can see how it kind of pushes it out pretty quick. If you don't hold it, it's going to hit you in the face. Um, so let it fill up a little bit, turn it off. You're going to hear it kind of like, like gas, give a little bit, and then we hook it right up to the uh, syringe, okay? So now we're ready with those two. We're going to go in and see our patient and get them going. Okay, right. so now we're going to do the last part, which is the PRP with the ozone, all right? Don't mind the construction in the background. So he's already numb in this area. So we have PRP, ozone, and the other PRP. So basically, I'm going to kind of come in from the top here where the nerve is and just inject the PRP, all right? And I'm actually gonna move it around because what it does is it allows for better um, breakdown and regeneration of the cells, unless you know, you're know you not doing it in one spot, basically. You're doing good, all right, all right? So, almost done with this guy. And this, again, just helps to aid in hopefully knocking his nerve out for good for him. The second one, I'm actually gonna kinda of go between the toes again, so it's just a different plane that we're gonna be doing it in. Obviously, cover up the previous little incision so it doesn't squirt out it. Um, and just pepper that area in there a little bit, okay? So we do some. Without an anesthetic, he probably would've wanted to kick me in the face by now. <laughs> yeah. A little bit more and then we'll be all toast, all right? Still doing good, right? Yeah. Excellent. All right. Last one is the ozone. It doesn't look like much, but it actually has the O3 that we pulled up in there. And basically what you'll do, again, we stick it in. And you're going to see it just kind of, you may see some of the skin kind of pop up. You can see it back there. So the oxygen is kind of filling those voids, going a little bit further. Um, and it's creating that, and you know, helping to create that regeneration process. So, um, like I said before in the video, usually the combination of the cryo with the PRP and the ozone, it's really the best technique we've found to try to eliminate these nerves pain as non-invasively as possible, or minimally invasively as possible. So basically we're gonna put a wrap on the foot. This wrap's gonna stay on until tomorrow. Um, and then you can take it off and treat it just like a basic cut. Um, he will be given a boot that will have to be in for about a week, all right, maybe two weeks at most. Um, and then he'll transition out of it and kind of go from there. Um, so if you or a loved one has a nerve um, that's giving you any issues, um, please feel free to give us a call, like our YouTube channel, our Facebook page, um, and if there's anything we can do for you, we're here to help. Thanks. Guys.